Sanjale has control of the race. Sanjale is still on her way at 1,000 meters. For the second year in a row, Marianne Sanjale found herself in contention at the World Speed Skating Championships in the Netherlands, and that is where we begin this week's Road to the Olympic Games recap. On day one, Saint-Gelais skated to a silver medal in the 500 and just missed out on the gold in the 1500 by the nose of her blade, which meant she had a slight lead in the overall standings going into day two. She won a silver in the 1000, but it wasn't enough as she finished second overall at the championships for the second straight year. On the men's side, Canada Samuel Girard finished third in the overall standings thanks in part to a silver medal in the 1500, while Charles Emelin took the bronze in the 1000 en route to an eighth overall finish. Let's head to Spain for the snowboard slope style world championships. Canada's Lori Bluen won gold after scoring a 78 for her second run in the final. It's the first world title of her career. The other Canadian in the event, Brooke Voigt, finished in seventh. She wasn't the only Canadian on the podium in Spain earlier on in the week. Mikel Kingsbury won bronze in the Moguls, as did Justine dufour Lapointe. However, both were eliminated in the round of 16 in the dual Moguls competition. What do you get when you have five snowboarders, some fresh snow, and you give them the freedom to design a course they've always wanted to ride? You have CBC's documentary, Building a Snowboarder's Dream, in partnership with Red Bull. We can go fast, we can go high, we do have power. But what's the point if there's no individualism, no uniqueness, no style? We had a park in our minds, Red Bull put it on snow. Come ride with us. Whether you're a snowboarding fan or not, I guarantee you, you will love this doc. You can check it out in its entirety by clicking on the link right after this video. Thanks a lot for watching.